I am the faculty of geology in Nalanda plus two junior science college. I am taking today our geology introductory class. So regarding Nalanda college, I am telling it is a very friendly college and it deals with student friendly and take to the students in a friendly manner. So before starting, I am telling about the introductions of geology. In the introduction to geology, before starting, let us start from science. This geology comes under science. And you know, science is divided into mainly three types. One is physical science. Another is biological science and another is called social science. So this geology comes under the biological science. So before knowing that, let you know what is the physical science. This physical science has branches that are called they have they include physics, chemistry, geology, geography, meteorology. astronomy etc. So in physics you know it is related to the of physical uh, quantities like heat, temperature, light, all these things and atoms, atomic structures like this. And in chemistry you know the chemical reactions in this structure you read. Geology, you read all the earth science, the constituents of the earth, and in geography, you read there the physical structure of the earth, and meteorology, you read all the environmental science, and in astronomy, you know the planet, galaxies, stars, all these things. In biological science, it divides generally about Geology, botany, and microbiology. Geology is all about the animal science. Botany, all about the plant science. Microorganism, it is related to all living organisms which are very small in nature. All microorganisms, all microbes, they may be bacteria, virus, all these things. In social science, here you read all about this uh, what? Political science. Now it is now in, un, under us. Economics, social work, right? Philosophy.
psychology, like this. So, science is vast. Since science is a vast subject, that's why uh, people choose social science or physical science or biological science. In plus two, you prefer you take physics, chemistry, geology, geography, or geology, botany, whatever it is. So here uh, you will read physics, chemistry, uh, biology, or another sign now or another science uh, referred as IT level IT information technology. Right. Here also another new developed subject is a biotechnology. So, generally here you need physics, chemistry, geology, botany, like that. I ask students, they read all these things. So, here we will read about the geology and we will take the introductory class of the geology. So, before going to geology class, let us know the mark patterns in the geology subject. See, in biology, you will give exam on biology that is totally 70 marks. So here botany you will give 35 marks, time period time will be 1 hour 30 minutes and geology also 35 marks time will be same. Right. So, in geology, you see the, the pattern of question in the geology. See, in 35 marks, uh, you will get short questions. That is object, all objectives. Fill in the blanks. Or one word answer. Right. And another is correct the underlying word. So all this three will be of 10 marks. Then, so this is another is there, another short questions which is of uh, 2.5 marks. So, this is you have to answer three numbers. So, that will be 7.5 marks. And another type of question is Differentiation. Difference between. Difference between. That will be uh, of 3.5 marks into 1. 1 mark you have to answer. 3.5. And long question will be of 2. Uh, that will be of seven seven marks, right? And you have to answer two. That is fourteen marks. So total, how much mark you got? You will get four, five, then one, four, eleven. Sorry, uh, this is ten marks. Total thirty five marks. Okay. So like this, in botany also, you will have a long to like this, in botany also you will get like this. Okay. Friends, here in your first year class, you will read these following topics. Okay. So first topic, you will read about the uh, introduction of the geology. And in introduction of geology, you will read 
scopes of geology and <coughs> different branches of geology. Then after that, you will read the unit one, biodiversity. In biodiversity, you will read all plants and animals that they are remaining on the earth surface and the ocean. So different types and variety of animals you will read, plants and animals you will read in the biodiversity and their classifications. And next, you will read the human physiology. In human physiology, you will read the different functions of the human. Like that, in that function, uh, you will read the breathing and respiration. In this chapter, you will read the respiratory system and its function. And also another topic you will read that is body fluid circulation. In, in it you will read the uh, structure of heart, artery, brain and how they circulate in the body. So and another topic you will read here excretory product and its elimination. In this topic, you will read the structure of kidney. Structure of kidney and how it functions. Right. The detailed structure you will read here. And another topic you will read the chemical coordination and control. Here in this chapter, you will read all about the endocrine systems all about the endocrine systems or glands like uh, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, adrenal gland, thymus gland, etc. Right? And how they function, you read that. In next chapter, you read the neural coordination and control. Here, you read all about the nervous system read about all about the nervous system of human. So in the nervous system of human here you will read the all about the brain and all about the spinal cord and all about the different types of nerves and their functions. So, this, these things are very important for entrance point of view. That's why you are told, uh, you will be told always. And in this topic also you have read in the 10th class. And here you will read in the English medium. Same things but in a enlarged manner. Okay? So, we will talk later on.